hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to make carrot halwa that is called gajar ka halwa in india it's one of the most popular sweet dishes in india during the winter season so now it's winter season and we are going to make this gajar ka halwa super tasty without any mawa or khoya we are going to use an alternate for it so let's see the recipe here friends i have got 700 grams of gajar that means carrot they are very nice red in color and i have peeled them off and after peeling off i have washed them properly now we have to grate them so i have a grater a big size grater as you can see the big size grater will give us a great texture of this halwa don't use small size grater so now let's grate them here they are done all the carrots are grated as you can see they are very nicely grated and the size is very perfect for our halwa so let's keep it aside and go for the kadhai i mean pan i have put a pan on the heater and i am adding some ghee ghee means clarified butter you may change the quantity according to your wish there is no problem but please try to add ghee of course don't use oil for this halwa only ghee can give us a great flavor of this halwa so i am adding some ghee now the ghee is hot well and now I am adding some dry fruits. Here are some cashews, chopped cashews, some raisins and some chopped almonds. You may take any kind of dry fruits, there is no problem according to your wish. I am adding only cashews, raisins and almonds here. Now we have to roast them for some time. While they are being roasted, we have to add a bay leaf. Only one bay leaf we have to add, don't add too much and i think that i need some more ghee so i'm adding one teaspoon of ghee again mixing nicely and now i'm going to add a bay leaf it will give us a nice flavor to this halwa and now you can notice that the dry fruits are roasted very nicely so now we have to add the grated carrots here After adding carrots, we have to mix everything very nicely. Now, I am going to add some salt to taste. 1 4 teaspoon of salt I have added. This little quantity of salt will enhance the taste of the sugar. So, try to add this. Now, we have to stir nicely and now we have to cover and cook. We have to cook with the lid for about 15 to 20 minutes. In between we have to uncover the pan and stir very nicely and after 17 minutes now here is the texture. A lot of water was released from the carrots and it's dried very nicely as you can see. There is no water rest in the pan. I will show you. Here you can see that there is no water. The carrots are very nicely dried so now it's high time to add milk here. So I am adding one glass of milk first. Now I will stir a little and check if needed more. So now I think I need some more milk. So I am adding half glass of milk again. Actually we don't need so much milk for this halwa. We have to sink the carrots very nicely as I am showing you. I used about 400 ml of milk for 700 grams of carrots. So here is the texture. Now we have to cover and cook. And now I am going to show you the magic. Here is the magic. It is the milk cream, cow milk cream. I stored this cream for 2 days from 1 liter of milk every day. And I got this quantity of milk cream. So I am going to use this milk cream as an alternate of mawa or khoya. It will give us the actual taste and flavor of mawa and it will also separate some ghee. So it will make this halwa more delicious than mawa or khoya. You can notice the difference. So let's go for the pan. Here is the texture friends. The half quantity of milk is uh, dried and the half quantity is rest now. Now we have to add the milk cream here because we need some time to separate the ghee from the milk cream. So now I am adding the cream here and mixing very nicely with the gajar halwa. After mixing very nicely we have to cover and cook again. 
and now we have to wait again for some time until the water I mean the milk is dried very nicely. In between we have to uncover the pan of course and stir very nicely and after about uh, 20 to 25 minutes now here is the texture. The milk is dried but it has a nice juicy texture. So it is very nice time to add the sugar here. Before adding the sugar we have to check the carrots of course they should be cooked very nicely they should be cooked 100 percent before adding sugar so they are cooked very nicely and now i am adding sugar according to taste half cup and a quarter cup sugar i am adding that means three quarter cup you may change the quantity according to your taste now i am adding half teaspoon of green cardamom powder i grinded some green cardamoms into fine powder along with some sugar so now we have to mix everything nicely and now the sugar is melting and the texture is being liquid again. So we have to dry it again for some time and we have to stir it occasionally to avoid burn from the bottom. So let us wait for some time. After about 5 to 6 minutes here is the texture friends it is a nice juicy texture for this halwa and it is perfect for me I do not want to dry it more. So now at the last of this process I am adding some gulab gel that means rose water it is edible rose water so I am adding 1 teaspoon of rose water into this halwa it will give us a great 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 flavor to this halwa it is very nice to enjoy so I am adding 1 teaspoon of rose water and now we have to mix it properly and after that our halwa is ready. So now our halwa is ready and now I am turning the heat off and after turning heat off we have to cool it down. After cooling down you may keep it in normal freeze for some time before serving. It will be very delicious to eat cold. So serve it as you like and now I am covering it for some time and after cooling down here is the texture of our halwa. It is drier than before as you can notice. It is super delicious to eat friends. So try this simple and delicious recipe during this winter season with cow milk cream and enjoy. And don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye take care.